Hi YouTube, it's Chloe. So um, this is going to be a video response for Tad McGee um, about how I feel about dying and how I feel about death in general. Um, and this is really um, a big coincidence that she, that she did this video now because um, I've been recently having a lot of dreams about dying or about my one of my loved ones dying and um, I've just really been thinking about death recently. Um, I am terrified of dying. Um, it's just about the unknown. Um, it's just, I'm wondering like when I'm in my final moments, um, unless I die in my sleep or something. Um, but like, I had a dream the other day that I got shot in the stomach. Um, and I knew I was dying in the dream. And it, the dream, I hate these dreams that feel so real. Um, and my husband, when I got shot, we were actually in the car driving, and we heard gunshots, so my husband turned around, and, um, when he was, while he was turned around, um, someone shot me in the stomach. I was sitting in the passenger seat, and someone got me in the stomach. I don't know how, but just did. And I felt it, and, um, I think there were two gunshots hit me in the stomach. And I grabbed my stomach, and I felt it all gushy and bloody. So my husband stopped, and um, he was telling me to hold on, and everything's going to be okay. And I just knew I was dying, so I told him how much I loved him and the kids, and that I'm going to miss him. And it really gets me sad just thinking about it, because it felt so real. And that's what I'm most scared of, is in those final moments. Um, and in the dream, too, I was like, felt like thinking to myself like oh my god I'm dying how is this gonna be I'm dying like where am I gonna go like while I was in that moment of dying I was wondering you know I was scared like I was scared to, to close my eyes I was scared I was waiting for that moment of dying and that's that's what I'm, I'm afraid of like and that while I'm about almost about to die I'm afraid of leaving like you know like where am I gonna go like I'm just scared of dying I'm just you know, and I believe, I am religious in a way, um, I don't go to church, but I believe in God, and I, I do pray to Him sometimes. I'm not an everyday prayer, I'm not going to sit here and lie, but I, I do believe in prayers, um, but I just don't, I don't know, I just, it's just hard to think about, like, going to heaven, like, how do you, like, how am I going to go to heaven, you know, like, how is that going to be, am I really going to be me, or... They say, like, your soul goes up to heaven. I don't know. That gets into really religious standpoints. So I don't really want to get too involved with that. I don't want to get too deep in discussion about that. But um, for those who don't believe in God, um, do you believe in, like, there's an afterlife of some sort? Do you think you'll be reborn? I, I know. See, I'm weird religions or religious person because I do believe in reincarnation. And I don't think that's what people that believe in God believe in. But I honestly think I was a reincarnation. And I know that sounds so weird, but my mom named me after her sister who passed away. And um, my aunt, you know, had a baby at 15 and got married at 15. Just a lot of things that I'm going, I do things a little different than her. Like she remarried and had kids by a different guy after she divorced her husband. Um, she was really hard core into drugs. Um, so she obviously, we're not exactly the same, but she died in a car accident at 28 and, um, she had five kids, and her baby that was only five months old was in the car with her, and that baby died. Well, they were all in a um, truck, and they were driving up to Reno, or up in the mountains somewhere, to a cabin, and um, it was icy roads. And she actually died March 21st, I think, in 80, 87. So, and I was conceived in 87, um, a few months afterwards. So anyways, um, her baby, her kids weren't properly in seatbelts and car seats, and her, my, um, her daughter was holding the baby, and the baby, um, uh, flew out the window and died, um, and she, my aunt, was sitting in, in the middle of the truck in the front seat, and it was a stick shift, and I guess the stick shift, the jigger or whatever, went up in her stomach, um, so she died, too. She actually died, though, when she was in the hospital, and someone told her that her baby died, um, so, yeah. Anyways, um, uh, I'm just, I'm just... You know, like, people that don't believe in God, do you guys think there's an afterlife or whatever you think? I do believe that there might be reincarnation. Um, I do believe in that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Um, 
you know, I'm not saying I'm by the book. I just believe in there's a God. I believe in, you know, I, I guess I believe in there's a how to. Um, I'm not really all into it, though. Um, I just know I pray to God and I believe in him. I just don't know about the whole death thing. Um, you know, like they say, when it's your time, it's your time, you should go, and, um, and all that, but, yeah, I don't know, um, about, like, the May 21st, 2011 thing, that has been on my mind a lot, too, because there's posters up here, um, like, on the freeway and all that stuff, and on the street saying that the world's gonna end May 21st, or that the Lord's gonna come, or Jesus is gonna come. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. And that's been on my mind a lot because, honestly, that's in a few days. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Do you guys, what do you guys believe in? I would love to know. Um, but, unfortunately, um, our cable is going to be getting shut off tonight and our internet. Uh, so, I'm not going to be having more internet access, unfortunately, until we, well, things are not really going too well. Um. Yeah, maybe I'll make a little short update real fast with that. But, um, yeah, I would love to hear all your guys' thoughts on it. And whenever I get to go online and read you guys' comments, and I'll be sure to reply. Um, but that's just really how I feel. I'm just really scared of losing my family, too. That's what really scares me. Like, when I think about dying, I think about my kids not having me no more. Not seeing my kids again. Not seeing my husband again. How they're going to feel about it. You know, just being away from them. Because when you die, you go away from everyone you love. And... If there's not no heaven, nothing would, I mean, I hope there is, you'll never, I'll never see my family again, and that's what really gets me sad, um, I couldn't imagine life without my family, but I really hope there is a heaven, because I lost a baby in 2008, Cameron, um, so I would love to see Cameron, and that, that's what actually, um, makes it easier for me when I think about dying, is that to know that I'll see Cameron, and I'll get to finally meet my baby that that passed away, and I'll see if it's a girl or a boy, and, you know? So if I think about that, it makes it easier, because I'll be a one child, um, and everyone that passed away that I love, like my grandma and all that. But um, I just hope me and I, the people that I love have a long time here on Earth, and I hope that the world doesn't end in a few days, and even with 2012, I hope nothing really happens. Um, I hope no one dies. And I hope life's okay for all of us. Um, so that's really how I feel. Um, I'm very scared of dying. Um, but I did hear, like, certain people say, um, like, when their loved ones almost passed away, that they just got a sense of didn't care if they passed away. Like, they just got this mellow slash calm feeling about them, about God dying. Um, then, like, shortly after that, they passed away. So when Tab McGee tells me that, she feels good, like, okay to terms with dying, that really scares me, because I don't want, obviously, nothing happening to her or her family either, um, but yeah, hopefully, everyone that I know, and everyone that I like, and well, everyone I like, well, everyone, well, I know everyone can't live forever, obviously, or, you know, unfortunately, people die at a young age, and yeah, but, um, I don't know, I don't even know what I'm saying right now. Um, I just hope all my YouTube friends don't pass away anytime soon, because I would honestly be de devastated. Um, I think of the people I know here on YouTube as my family, you know, as my friends. So, sorry about my voice, but, um, so I would be very sad if something were to happen to any of you guys. Um, but yeah, I just don't like death. I don't like thinking about it, and it makes me sad. I just don't like thinking about it. Um. I like to think about the living and about tomorrow. I know every day's not promised, but yeah. Anyways, that's about it. Um, yeah, so I'll make a little update. So look out for that. All right, all right, guys. Talk to you guys later.